As a school, we've really backed sport over the last five or six years where we felt it really was missing from the curriculum in terms of providing what this particular cohort of children needed in their lives at the time. It goes far beyond just the idea of just putting competition into sport and making sure that primary school kids take part. It develops a, a wonderful sense of well-being with the children. So we developed our in-house school programme first to try and allow everyone the opportunity. Uh, that's then fed into our after-school club and then further into the sports and opportunities we have within our Camborne cluster uh, and wider opportunities within the school games and uh, county-wide competitions. We've had quite a big increase last year, uh, particularly in girls' participation, but also our after-school club. By the end of summer term, we were upwards of 70% of the school involved. Last year we had 99% of the school from years 1 to 6 taking part in, in competitions. We had 225 children represented the school several times, which was great. We also provide for our ARB unit. We have uh, hosted last few years obviously our Travictus Games, which is like a conclusion of the year in, in the summer term. But we also run in-house competitions for them as well, so they're able to join in with our mainstream classes. Then they also take part in things like archery and botcher as well through competition we've seen a definite improvement in their emotional resilience to, to win and lose. By the time they get into the upper key stage two and they're taking part in the football teams and netball teams definitely are able to, to win and lose better and, and show that respect, honesty and, and determination to, to win but you know, if we don't win they tend to take it a lot better than perhaps they used to. We travel in the minibus to do some competitions. I've won medals at Penring College, the pool school run where I came first. Not super competitive, a little bit competitive. Sports help me with confidence and meeting new friends and teamwork. There are competitive sports we can do that cater for the needs of those who aren't naturally sporty children, but there are plenty of sporting opportunities that they can get involved in. Putting the time, effort and energy into those children does pay off. Their sense of well-being and uh, achievement is, is, is great. You can quantify how many kids take part or what you win or what you don't win, but actually it's hard to quantify the feeling they have from taking part in their first event. That's gold dust.